picked up a solitary time penalty in the show jumping here 12 months ago when en route to second place finished behind Doug Payne and Van Diver on that occasion now can Liz turn the tables in 2019 won the prolific Aiken eventing showcase a few weeks ago has been on incredible form went very well at Red Hills as well she was such a joy to watch yesterday in the dressage wasn't she on all of her horses she really doesn't leave any stone unturned and she's already had one good clear round in the show jumping with Cooley Quicksilver he knows his job so well now 16 years of age he really specializes in this format of the sport now I heard Marilyn say it was like watching a married couple yesterday and she a said happily a married happily. couple <laughs> yes thank you for the clarification <laughs> that yes. was funny they do know each other so well though and he he's uh, got better and better the older he's got she'd need to really have her foot down over Ian Stark's cross-country track but so far so good in the show jumping two to go down to the last Liz Halliday Sharp and Fernhill by night let's take a look at that clock because uh, this uh, is the combination that led the dressage and uh, they are faultless oh, over the show jumping just close. sneak inside <laughs> the 80 seconds time allowed but it's inside that's the important thing and Liz Halliday Sharp will go out on the cross country tomorrow as the dressage leader 27.9 her starting score four of the five winners here at Carolina have finished on their dressage score Liz Halliday Sharp on target to do the same. Copy.